Number one, uh, why, so why are we here? I'll just, I just want to emphasize two things. Number one, corruption. And number two, the lack of sort of an organized liberal you know, gang out there making the case. Uh, so on point number one, I think, it's, I think what we're seeing, the populist reaction around the world um, and the threat to liberalism around the world is basically the result of a cycle of corruption that you see in every state in the world. And so uh, over the past 10 or so years, I've conducted thousands of, inter of interviews in about 20 countries. And what I've seen over and over and over again is that uh, no matter what the system is, it's, it could be a liberal system, it could be a, a dictatorship, it could be communist, the people always want the same thing. They want dignity. They want human dignity. They want self-respect. They want self-worth. That's the general people, right? That means they want access to jobs, they want access to justice, and they want voice, and they want choices. Meanwhile, the powerful, whoever they are, whether they're limousine liberals or, or communist or apparatchiks or whatever they might be, um, they simply seek more power and more access to corruption again and again. So what happens is this kind of vicious cycle happens. The powerful seek more power and access to corruption until the public can no longer take it anymore. Look at Brazil, look at Argentina, look at, uh, look at the United States, um, look, at, look at Turkey. Uh, those, these types of, of, of situations are happening all around the world, um, to some degree uh, of Myanmar as well. And at some point, if there is a credible leader and an, a coherent movement, an opposition will overthrow the ru rulers, whoever they are. And, the ru and, and soon enough, those liberators will become the corrupt, the corrupt oppressors that they were fighting against previously. So our, our tour of the world ended in South Africa. The African National Congress, the party of Nelson Mandela, just got trounced due to this very problem. And the cycle repeats itself over and over and over again. So I don't want to give liberals a pass. I want to just say, oh, it's the situation. But it's important to, to remember that human greed and um, uh, uh, pride are, are universal. And that's a very liberal thing to say of, of me, right? Uh, so uh, there, there you go. I'm showing my stripes. Um, so again, just to emphasize, I think that, you know, I don't necessarily think it's necessary that the policies, be they the EU and the Euro or Iraq war. I just think that we should emphasize the importance of doing things well and doing things with accountability. Uh, you can have a good policy and do it corruptly. You can have a bad policy and do it well. Uh, so the second, the second uh, reason that I think that we're at the state we are in now, very briefly, is that uh, liberal policies generally benefit most people, but opposition uh, to them can be, can be fierce and co coherent, right? So uh, opposition to TPP right now is an example. Uh, but you look at free, free press, which is under attack in Turkey, Japan, Russia, and possibly in the United States pretty soon. Free press, uh, is, why is that? Well, because free press j benefits everyone, and yet uh, there's a very coherent group of people who would rather not have free press. And those are politicians who want to stop unflattering news stories. So the, the main point here is that we might, you know, the public might not realize or pay attention to the incredible value of liberal policies, of freedoms and equalities. But those freedoms, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of, of assembly, are the very instruments that serve as a nonviolent check against the powerful and the corrupt. That's why I would urge everyone around the world to remember why we fought for liberal values in World War I, in World War II, in Bosnia, in Vietnam, in Korea, the list goes on and on and on. Why, do we did, why we did that, we felt it was necessary to shed blood all over the world. And to remember that this is the way to advance a more peaceful, accountable society in a peaceful fashion. And I would like to just and by saying, I hope we fight for our values at the polls rather than the streets. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.